to Miss Emma's tennis activity. Okay, so hope you've enjoyed all the weeks so far. We're nearly at the end of our activities, okay? So we are going to start off with obviously our warm up to get us ready. Okay, get our bodies moving, get our heart rate up a little bit, get us feeling a little bit warmer. Okay, so you're going to be copying me. We're going to do a couple of minutes of a warm up and then we're going to get straight into some different activities. Okay, so we're going to start off with an exercise called an inchworm. So you're going to go from here, okay, and you're going to walk your hands out into a press up position, keep that back nice and straight, and then you're going to walk back in, try and keep your legs as straight as possible. We're going to do five of them, okay? So we go out.
So now you're gonna learn how to be a cool dude on the tennis court, okay? But now we're gonna look at our hand-eye coordination, okay? So in the previous weeks, we had to look at our forehand shot, okay? So, so we open our body up, okay? And we're hitting forehand, okay? So we've got our forehand shot. Okay, what I want you to do today is, with your ball, okay, you're going to bounce it and hit it lightly on your racket and then you're going to catch it back into this hand. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Okay, make sure we're catching it each time. So just a nice, light hit each time, okay? So I want to see how quickly you can do 25 of them. Okay, then we're going to set you another challenge. So, challenge number two, we're going to go a little bit harder, okay? So this is kind of our blue belt challenge, okay? So it's a little bit more challenging. You've got an edge of your racket, okay, that goes all the way around your racket. This is the edge, okay? You're now going to see you can bounce your ball at the floor by just using the edge of the racket. So well done if you've just managed to complete challenge number two. Obviously that is quite hard to keep control of. Okay, so well done on the score that you've managed to get. We are now going to look at something slightly harder, sticking with the edge, okay, we're going to be hitting up, okay, not down at the floor, so we're changing it this time, we're going to be hitting up. What I want you to do is use the edge to hit, and then you're going to catch, okay, hit the edge, then catch. It's going to look something like this. Okay, not like that last one. Make sure it goes on the edge, okay? And if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit further, see how many times you can continuously use the edge without the catch in the middle, okay? So that means that I managed five there. As I say, it is a little bit of a challenge, but make sure you have some fun, okay? Test out them tennis skills. And remember the cool new way that you've learned to pick up a tennis ball. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this week's of activities and I shall see you next week for one last video.